Hello, my name is Julie Boyt and I'm the International Director for Living Room. And my name is Florence Toroitich and this, I am a social worker and the manager of the guest house. And our guest house is named Micah's Guest House. It opened in January of this year and we're so excited to show you around. And the guest house has 40 beds where we are able to accommodate their children and their parents. And these children, they come from all over the country and Often um, they, they're newly diagnosed with cancer and they are receiving their treatment at a nearby government hospital. And so in this place, we're able to provide accommodation. So we'll show you um, the spaces that we have um, to be able to serve these families while they're undergoing their treatment. So the name of the guest house is Micah Guest House. And it got its name because of the family who hosted my family when my children underwent bone marrow transplants at UCLA in Los Angeles in 2017 and 2018. So we lived with this family for 477 days and the ways that they extended to us, just extravagant um, hospitality is what we hope to be able to do for the children and the parents who come to, to stay with us here. We want them to have a chance for healing just like my boys had. So on the ground floor, we have uh, 20 rooms and every room has two beds that we're able to accommodate 20 children and their fam families. So the reason we really felt compelled to start the guest house um, was that we were partnering with the government hospital that's located about five minute drive from here. And we were hearing stories of children who had traveled from all over the country and were receiving chemotherapy, radiation therapy during the day. They didn't need to be admitted, so they were being treated outpatient. And then they didn't have a place to stay in the evening. So they would sleep on the floor of the emergency department. And I just think about the quality of life for them, the, how hard it is to actually go through cancer treatment. And so to be able to partner with the government hospital and to provide this service felt really important to us. At Living Room, we are always are talking about how do we provide quality, excellent service to our patients, or in this case, to these children and their families. And so one of the things as we were designing the building is we began to meet with local artisans to talk about the spaces and how could we create beauty um, and really partner with artists from this area. And so it's so exciting to be able to see how that all came together, how we were able to create um, such a beautiful space. Um, feels, it feels hopeful to me um, to be able to have a place where, you know, people are walking through really hard journeys, but to, to also make sure that there's enough light and there's enough beauty and there's enough um, greenery and uh, garden spaces for these families. So we've also partnered with the local artists to be able to teach their parents and the children on doing beadwork, artwork, and um, by the time they get here, a parent can be able to do to do the artwork or beadwork even for income generating activity after living here. The guest house has a total of 64 beds. So on the ground floor, there's 20 rooms like Florence mentioned with a total of 40 beds where we can accommodate children and their families. And we do that as a free service. We want to make sure that cost isn't the prohibiting factor for these families to be able to receive care. On the upper floor, we have 12 private rooms um, with 24 beds in them. And so the goal of here is to help to be able to also provide accommodation, but to do it at a small fee to help towards the sustainability of the guest house. So this is our classroom where we, we do a lot of activities with the children and their families. Mostly when they are not tired, we come to class. They do classwork, study school work, and then we do a lot of crafts, a lot of uh, coloring, and we try as much as possible to display their pieces of work, their walls. We do their handprints so that we can remember their names and we pray for them after treatment. So Monday through Friday, the children are taken for either their chemotherapy or radiation therapy. They leave here about 7.30 in the morning, and then they return here around noon typically. And so in the afternoons, they might need a little rest, but we also wanted to be able to have a space and a place where 
they can be kids, they can play, they can do arts and crafts, they can learn, they can be surrounded by Florence and the team to really love them well and to give them a little bit of a break from some of the medical uh, experiences that they're having from in the mornings. So we have books, we can borrow books for them, they can read in their rooms and we, we encourage all the children to participate and even we have books for the parents, they can read for their children in their rooms or in the garden. In this common space, we eat together and play together and what other activities are? We do also group counseling and we just do dancing, music, yeah. We love that we get to be outdoors and enjoy just the fresh air that this place provides. Yeah. So since we started the guest house, we've hosted uh, 300 children and their families. And uh, it's not easy, but we trust God. Uh, we've loved them, we've shared their journeys, we've, um, we've, we've walked the journey with them and we pray that God may be with them as they continue in the treatment journey, even after the, all the treatments, because there are those ones, they've come here, completed their treatment, come back again. Yeah, we keep on praying for, to God to be with them. And we trust that he is. Yeah. You know, it's it's like so much of the work of living room. It's never been easy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, and yet it feels sacred. It feels like it matters so much to the heart of God. And mm -hmm. so we feel really privileged to be able to do it and so thankful for your partnership that allows our team to show up each day and love these kids and their families mm -hmm. and just to believe that it's holy to God.